Hello YouTube, Sidekick here with another installment of the Iron Bomber's Guide to the Galaxy. Today we're going back to Vietnam. A while back we looked at the role that the A-4 played in the Vietnam War, which was extensive. In fact, A-4s flew more sorties over North Vietnam than pretty much any other Navy aircraft. But that's only part of the scooter story. That's the Navy part of the story. Today we're going to look at the Marine Corps story. And then after we take a quick look at that, we're going to fly a mission that might be a little bit more like the kinds of mission that marine aviators flew in Vietnam. I'm hoping that this will actually be the first of a few missions that we fly on this theme, and this is a series that I am going to call Moving Mud, Marine Corps A-4s in Vietnam. The first Marine Corps A-4 squadrons arrived in Vietnam in 1965. Because of limited space at the big air base at Da Nang, the A-4s went into a new base at Chu Lai, which would be their home for the rest of their time in Vietnam. Uh, when they first arrived, the facilities were, to be kind, rudimentary. Uh, the airfield was built on unstable ground, and it frequently degenerated into a quagmire. The runway was supposed to be 8,000 feet long, but often only half of it was usable, so takeoffs had to be assisted with Jado bottles, and arresting gear had to be employed for landings. Despite the primitive conditions, marine aviators went to work as soon as they arrived because the Chu Lai region was actually not completely secure, and, in fact, the Viet Cong were concentrating in the area in the hopes of attacking and overrunning the new base. Eventually, a major operation, known as Operation Starlight, was launched as a preemptive attack on those Viet Cong forces. It was the first major Marine Corps operation of the war, and A-4s were in the thick of it, providing close air support to troops in contact. Operation Starlight was successful, and the scooters of Chu Lai settled down to a regular routine of providing support to Marines and ARVN forces on the ground. Missions ranged from close air support to troops in contact with the enemy to more in-depth interdiction missions against supply lines, in the valleys leading up into the highlands on the border of Cambodia and Laos. A-4s, in fact, played a major role in supporting the Marines on the ground during the famous siege of Khe Sanh. Unlike their Navy brethren, though, Marine aviators spent almost all of their time over South Vietnam. And while the threat environment they faced was no less dangerous, the nature of their missions meant that they were mostly dealing with low-level um, small caliber triple A rather than the high altitude SAMs and radar guided large caliber anti aircraft guns that were typical in the North. The A 4s flew out of Chu Lai until 1973, making them the last A 4s to depart Vietnam. This sounds to me like a great part of the A 4s history, and I want to take some time to explore it with some missions in DCS. Now, we don't have a Vietnam map yet, he said, hopefully. But I think there's an interesting and, at least for me, less well-known portion of the Caucasus map that might stand in for the Chu Lai area. And that's the area in the south of the map around Batumi. So that's where I'm going to focus the campaign. I'm going to start with a mission that I call Welcome to the Odd Dang Valley. Please excuse this horrible and potentially culturally insensitive pun. And here is the mission briefing. Gentlemen, orders. Situation. We are ashore here at our new home at Chu Lai. Marine and ARVN ground forces are advancing the perimeter in the neighboring hills and valleys to increase our security perimeter. Enemy opposition has been light to date, uh, but we know the enemy is in the area and resistance is starting to stiffen. In particular, there's evidence of enemy infiltration down the Adang Valley towards the Lake Long Song region to the northwest of the airbase. Uh, there is also evidence that the enemy is moving AAA assets into the valley as well. Uh, ground forces are moving to establish a for ba forward base at the entrance to the valley to forestall the enemy buildup. Mission. You will be conducting interdiction attacks in the Audang Valley with the guidance of an airborne fact call sign Firefly. Report on station at checkpoint X-ray. Firefly will assign st targets of opportunity once you are there. You'll be carrying a load of four Zuni canisters with a total of 16 rockets. Take off from runway run 13 and proceed to X-ray at 7,000 feet. Once you arrive at X-ray, you'll be given uh, an F-10 radio menu item to call for a target when you're ready. 
If you successfully engage that target, Firefly will direct you to return to X-Ray in order to receive another target tasking. Complete up to three target taskings in order to complete the mission. Good luck. All right, here we are in our trusty A4 Skyhawk at our new home at uh, Chulai slash uh, Batumi. Just getting ourselves, uh, got our flaps down. We get some trim on here. We're gonna get out and uh, see what we can find down the Odang Valley. All right, we're on our way. All right, and we're off on our first mission of uh, moving mud, the Marine Corps A-4s in Vietnam. Nearly at rotation speed, here we go, and we're up. So, Batumi's not a great replica of Chulai, at least in terms of the quality of the runway. Uh, it's a lot better than Chulai was, but it's actually not that much longer than Chulai, so I think it doubles in pretty good. And it's right on the water, and Chulai was pretty close to the water as well. So, first uh, order of business here is to get the nav computer on, uh, because in order to get the party started, we have to get to checkpoint X-ray. Uh, but checkpoint X-ray is the first waypoint, uh, and that'll be true whether or not you uh, use the ground start or the air start. So you'll just want to put your nav computer on and essentially fly to that destination, and that's the point at which we can contact Firefly and get our first. So we're just going to turn up river here. There's a little lake just up around the corner, and the Audang Valley comes off of that. And today we're working with scattered clouds at about 7,500 feet, so that's why we're going into the checkpoint at 7,000. Take a look at what the clouds look like up the valley and decide whether we want to be above them or below them when we go after the targets. So the trick for this mission is definitely going to be uh, that we need to be economical with our zoonies because we've only got 16 zoonies and we have three targets that we have to take out uh, in order to finish the mission. So we don't want to be wasting too many rockets. We don't want to be firing them all off unless we know we're going to hit something. So we'll keep that in mind. All right, we just need to go a little bit further here. Once we get closer to checkpoint x-ray, we expect to hear from Firefly, and then we can get this party started. And we're nearly there. And there's the odd dang valley up there. Quick place, this is Firefly. Welcome to the odd dang valley. We never close. You want targets? We got it. We are working targets along the trail down the valley. We need to get started if you need Let me know when you are over checkpoint X-ray. Firefly, this is Switchblade. We are at checkpoint X-ray and ready to proceed. Over. The target is a convoy of four trucks on the trail just to the edge of the wood line. At grid, Gulf Gulf, 4358090. I have blocked the target with white smoke. Switchblade, Roger, we see your smoke. All right, so just four trucks, no AAA. Let's get ourselves fenced in here. Use the center pylon rockets to start with. And I'm just gonna fire them singly, I think. Try and serve as many as I can. Okay, let's see if we can get close enough to see what this target looks like. Don't need to be too worried about getting close to this target because we don't have any AAA, so I'm going to try and get in nice and close and make every rocket count. Okay, looks like the road is there's a little bit to the left, so we need to come across in front of the target here a little bit. Give us a line straight down the road. And again, because there's no AAA, we don't need to come in at it at a high angle. Take a nice shallow approach, get lots of time to get ourselves lined up. It's kind of a good opening round. Their hand in here. Okay, so I can see the trucks. Now it's just a matter of letting the sight come up to the trucks. 
probably aim towards the back of the pack to make sure we get them right about there. Nice. Yes, Head back to X-ray or I find something else that might interest you. Switchblade, Roger out. Well, those blowed up real good. We must have been uh, must have been carrying some ammo or something else that was uh, that was pretty volatile, but it made for a good show. Lots well, of good opening start to the mission. Didn't use up too many of our rockets. Now we just need to work our way back to the lake. And see what else Firefly can come up with for us to do today. So yeah, you can see we're just under that scattered cloud. It's not thick, but it's thick enough to get in the way uh, if we're... Uh, it's just in the wrong place, so we'll have to. We'll probably be playing peekaboo with that. For most of the mission today. Alright, once again, we can be using our nav computer because it's still waypoint one. And we just need to work our way back to X ray. They throttled back a little bit here. We do have to be a little bit careful on gas. Don't want to run out of gas before we run out of weapons. And we can see Chu Lai down there on the coast. We come up here to the head of the valley and Lake Long Song. Getting close to checkpoint X ray. But we'll start uh, turning here because they were coming to the left of the checkpoint. Just turn over the head of the lake here. Firefly, this is Switchblade. We are at checkpoint X ray and ready to proceed. Switchblade, we are ready. Over. Target, there's a truck convoy on the road. Great, Golf Golf, 474-118. They are on the trail, under the trees. Be advised, they are accompanied by a couple of flat trucks. Target is marked with white smoke, 200 meters southeast of the target. Switchblade, roger. Out. Okay, I see some smoke up there, but I think that's our first target, if I'm not mistaken. So, can't see uh, Firefly smoke on the second target yet. We're going to need to work our way down the valley here a little bit. So stay over on this side of the valley. Alright, well let's keep going this way. We'll look up the valley there, and I'm sure we'll see a smoke eventually. So this time, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful. If they've got flak trucks with them, it means we won't be able to make a low approach like we did that last time. We'll have to come at them a little bit higher and uh, give them less, less of an aspect ratio on us. And uh, we don't want to fly straight level for very long. But with the Zunis, we should be able to uh, at least equal the distance of at least a 23 millimeter flak. So we should be all right. Ah, seeing a smoke. Firefly, this is Switchblade. Smoke in sight. Out. Alright, so what do we got? So the smoke is not on the target this time. Uh, we're going to have to go uh, a little north and a little west from the target. Get closer here so we can see what's what. There's the smoke. Yeah, it's behind a little hill. We can't, can't see where the road goes yet, so we can't see the target. we to keep going up a little bit farther. Stay well over here so we're out of the range of those flak trucks if you're near that smoke. 
Okay, I'm starting to see about where the road goes. Let's come around a little bit more. Alright. Still don't see the target very clearly. Okay, okay. They see the flak trucks up against the woods. Okay, there's the trucks in the woods. You know what? I think I'm going to take this target from the other side. See if we can get the woods at least partially between us and the flak. So we're going to come all the way around here. Take it from the back side. Yeah, we got to be careful of these clouds. I'd like to be a little bit higher, but playing a little bit of peekaboo with the clouds here. Rolling in at 7,500 is not all that high. Of course, the trick is going to be getting rolled in and lined up quickly enough that we don't get down to an altitude where the flak's going to get. So, I'll keep it as high as I can here. Yeah, maybe we'll even use the clouds as cover. Now, I'm not sure in DCS if that even actually works because I think. Uh, AI can see through clouds, or at least it used to be able to, but in real life this might not be a bad tactic to confuse the flat gunners. Okay, here we come down through. Time to pull up to the target. Pull up to the target. Roll out. Let the sight come up to the target. And there we go. Alright, well. This hit. Target is alive. Head back to x -ray. I will find another target. Well, that was a good strike. It was uh, close enough to the flak to make it sporty. But I think uh, it was also a high angle enough approach to keep their aim off. So looks like we're uh, two for two. And uh, if I counted right, I think we've used up our center pylon. So we'll have to switch to the wing pylons, but we got a full load of uh, eight Zunis to deal with the last target, so I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so once again we can use the nav computer to find our way back to checkpoint X-ray. When we get back there we expect to get another target from Firefly. Alright, going pretty well so far. That was a pretty good approach, that one. Um, you want the Zunis to be in normal range, you're going to have to be a little, you're going to have to be close enough to give the flak. You have to be close enough to give the flak at least an opportunity to say hello. Uh, you know, the trick is to keep the, uh, the approach high angle enough and uh, keep moving around enough to uh, hopefully confuse their aim, which seemed to work on that path. So hopefully we get lucky on the next one as well. All right, here we are coming up to checkpoint x-ray one more time. This is switch paid. Send over. Got a juicy one for you this time. Enemy supply dump in the woods. X ray yellow mic 157 150. Approach with caution. Site is well defended by AAA. At least one battery is 23 millimeters to the north of the river, and one battery of 40 millimeters to the south of the river. Smoke mark is on the road, 250 meters west of the target. Target is in the woods, at the sharp end in the river. Switchblade, roger out. Okay, it looks like we can already see the smoke mark there, a little bit farther up the valley. So, we definitely uh, have a lot of AAA to worry about on this one. I can't really see how the target sets up yet. Get up there a little bit closer, let's not forget. Get the right pylons arm. Okay, 
Okay, for now I'm going to stay on this side of the valley. And we get a little bit closer. Okay, oh, it looks like from here it's actually hidden behind the ridge that's coming out from this side. So let's cross over to the other side of the valley. See if we can see the target area a little bit better here. Just trying to stay below the clouds for now. Alright, roll out, see where we're at. There's the smoke. Okay, I'm starting to see trees farther up the valley. Need to figure out where the road is and where the river is. Okay, alright. See the road. Not sure I see the river yet. Okay, now I'm seeing the river. Yeah, okay. So it comes, the river comes out from left to right and then goes around a bend and it's in that bend, those trees in the bend, that's going to be the target. Okay, let's go buy it on the side. We can get positive identification. Okay, there, you see the river there. There's two patches of woods, but we want the woods that are on the far side of the river from where we are now. I think I might be able to see some white flashes in there. There's That's the supply dump. It's pretty well camouflaged, though. And I think I can definitely see some AAA on the far bank. That's supposed to be the light caliber stuff. It's supposed to be some 40 millimeter on this side, but I'm not sure I can make it out. All right, how are we going to take this? Triple A guys have had lots of chance to see us coming. We're going to have to take another steep dive. Let's see if we can use the clouds a little bit. So I'm going to go up above the clouds. Try that same tactic of coming down through them. It's just going to be a question of being, making sure we are quick when we come through the clouds to get lined up and get rid of the rockets before we get too low. So. Just got to time it right, because I'm going to lose sight of the target here. As the clouds go by. Our side of the cloud bank's around where we're going to want to roll in, I think. Just trying to keep both those things in my head at the same time. Okay. At least see the smoke through the clouds. Okay, so now we've got to keep an eye on where about where we think it is. I'm going to come down just at the far edge of the cloud bank here. Right around there. Okay, we're gonna have to be quick when we come through this and pick up the target. There we go. Hold your breath. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And well, the triple A sauce coming through the clouds. All right, we just got to get it in that patch of woods. You don't have to be hyper accurate. Cover the woods, Whoa, oh. pull up, I and... Lock a second in. Nice work. I think that's going to do it for today. Thanks for coming out. Excellent. Now all we have to do is live to tell the tale. Let's keep jinking, keep jinking. Get a safe distance away, and maybe uh, let's go back up and get a quick look. I'd like to get a bit of a bomb damage assessment on that. Well, we certainly left some uh, smoke behind. Come around here and see what we can see. Well, we certainly started some fires down there. That looks to me like a good day's work. Yeah, I think we might even actually have a couple of rockets still on board, but that's going to do it for today. So I'm going to head back to Chu Lai. Hope uh, everybody out there gets a chance to try this mission. It'll be available on my Discord server. Really like to know what you think of it. Uh, like to know how well you do. Like to see if you can get all the way through that third target. And like to know what you think about uh, the idea of this campaign, Moving Mud, the, a, the Marine Corps A4s in Vietnam. But for now, this is going to be Sidekick. Signing off.